Sup guys, it's Alex here and welcome to the next game up here in the NCAA Basketball 10 simulation of the 2021 NCAA Tournament. We have number 7 Clemson here versus number 10 Rutgers. The winner of this game gets a date with 2 seed Houston in the second round. Rutgers was able to come up with this win in real life, but who's going to win this one? Let's find out. As I said, the winner of this game will go on to face Houston. There for Rutgers, we got Geo Baker, the main guy, along with Ron Harper down there, number 24. Then for Clemson, we got Dawes, Nick Honor, Amir Sims, Clyde Trapp, John Newen. Should be a should be a barn burner, really. Here's what both teams need to do in order to win this ball game. Number seven Clemson, number ten Rutgers for a spot in the second round. Let's see who comes up with the tip. And it is Clemson. Sims with it, over to Trap, looking down low. Rising, firing, and able to connect there for Clemson. Taking the early 2-0 lead here, Geo Baker with it, getting trapped in the backcourt, able to escape it. Looking down low, fading. That was a weird animation. It looked like the shot went in, but apparently it didn't. And they rejected on the other end, though, so basically it's a net zero. We will reset the offense here, basically. I'm not sure what happened with that animation there. It looked like the shot went in, but apparently it didn't. Looking to use the pick and roll here. Driving. Able to tie it up. Wrecker is tied up with Clemson now, 2-2. Two to two. Newman with it here for Clemson at the top of the key. For three. Not able to connect, though. Clemson plays up tempo. Rutgers plays balance. Right now, the pace of play has been balanced. So favoring Rutgers. Looking down low. Fading away. Not able to connect, but Harper comes up with the rebound, and he misses the putback. Clemson running here in transition. Trap just decides to go ahead and slow things down. Looking down low, dangerous pass, and Rutgers comes up with the turnover. Clemson's coach saying they're doing a horrible job with the ball reversals. Looking to use the pick and roll here. Rutgers driving, but it gets rejected, but Harper is able to come up with the rebound, and he puts it in. 4-2 to two now, Rutgers over Clemson. Two minutes gone in this first half. Oh, an errant pass able to hang on to it, though. Clemson hasn't scored in two minutes, as you guys saw. They got the very first basket of the game, but nothing since. But they end that scoreless streak there, tying it back up here at four. And they bring the double in the backcourt. Rutgers able to escape. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Four now. They got it. They got to get a shot up. They take the two. Oh, they used the entire shot clock and was able. I mean, it ended up working out for them. Looking to use the pick and roll. Clemson a little hop step. Gets rejected though. Wrecker is able to come up with it. 140 to go here in the first half. Looking down low. Able to knock it down. Rutgers now up 8-4 to four here over Clemson. Looking down low. Good pass to Newman. Not able to connect on the shot. 
but they're not able to get the rebound. Rutgers hits it out of bounds, so it stays here with Clemson. Clemson catching a lucky break. Let's see what Clemson can do here on offense. Newman takes the three. Splash! Clemson takes advantage of that second chance possession. Under a minute now to go in the first half. Rutgers heading to the line. Foul called on Clag Trap. It's a trap. Montez Mathis at the line. Knocks down the first one to make it 9-7. to seven. Knocks down the second one as well. 56 seconds to go here in the first half. Rutgers up by three. Clemson able to escape. Oh, they get trapped again. And Rutgers comes up with a steal. Oh, but they turn it right back over. Ball hits somebody's foot, and the refs don't call a kickball violation. Looking down low. Not able to connect, though. Clemson couldn't get the points off the turnover. A little pick and roll. Able to get the offensive rebound, and Rutgers puts it back in to get the five-point advantage here. 5 of 11 shooting for Rutgers, 3 of 7 for Clemson. Nice pick and roll there. Contact, no foul called though. Rutgers gets the rebound. Going to try to get another basket here before the half ends. They shoot the 3. Splash! Montez Mathis with that first half buzzer beater. Rutgers, man. Out to a 15-7 lead here early on in this game. Shooting 50% from the field. Clemson shooting 38%. But you guys saw those field goal numbers. Clemson, very little shots compared. Yeah, look at that. Eight shots compared to Rutgers having 12 shots. That's been really the story of this game so far. Rutgers has been taking more shots and making more shots. And, of course... Bad news for Clemson. Rutgers gets the ball to start the second half. Mathis with seven. Mont it's basically Montez Mathis versus Clemson at this point. Both, both sides have seven. Clemson, though, able to come up with the stop. Rutgers on an 11-3 run, as you guys can see. Clemson not able to break into it, though. It was tied at four at one point, but since then, Rutgers has just been pulling away. Looking down low to Harper. Able to connect, so now Rutgers up 17-7. A 13-3 run. Clemson has not scored in two minutes, as you guys can see. Not able to score there either. Geo Baker able to get it to go, man. Rutgers on a 15-3 run right now. Man, Clemson just has no answer for Rutgers at the moment. Looking down low. Finally able to get a basket there for Clemson. Able to break that scoreless streak. 8 for 15 shooting for Rutgers. 3 of 10 for Clemson. Harper not able to get it to go there. Clemson maybe can try to start to chip into the lead here. Looking down low to Newman. Rises, fires. Newman's able to connect. So now Clemson on a 4-0 run. They can get a couple more stops here. They're right back in it. Baker, though. They, Rutgers takes a 3. Not able to connect. So Clemson... The door is starting to sw or not swing open. It's starting to kind of creak open a little bit. They just got to score, though. They got to take advantage. Looking down low. They rise fire. Clemson knocks it down. So Clemson on a 6-0 run here. 
Now a six point game. Two and a half to go. They throw the alley-oop, but Rutgers able to get the basket there. Young connects to give them the eight point lead now. 21 to 13, Clemson's gotta start picking up the pace here if they wanna get back into this game. Looking down low, good pass, but it gets swatted away. I think that's a deep two. Oh no, they give him the three. Clemson now back within five, improbably. It was a 12 point deficit just a couple minutes ago and now it is down to five. Contact, Rutgers heading to the line. Baker with, uh, has only shot one shot this entire game. It was that layup. Montez Mathis at the line. Clemson has definitely been outscoring him here in the second half. Knocks down the first one. This one to make it a three possession lead. Knocks it down. Under two minutes to go now. Clemson down by seven. Let's see if they can somehow make this comeback. Looking down low. And it falls in, so still only a five-point game here. One and a half to play. Rutgers isn't safe yet. Clemson has been scratching and clawing their way back. They were down 19-7 to earlier. Now they're on an 11-4 to run. 1.20 to go, the Rutgers doing the smart thing and kind of dribbling out the clock. No need to take a quick shot when you have a five-point lead with just over a minute to go. And they're taking the entire shot clock here. This would be a dagger. He misses, though, but they get the offensive rebound, and now they're heading to the line. Wow, man. Mathis has been huge here for Rutgers this game. Knocks down the first one. That would have been a huge rebound for Clemson if they could have gotten it. This one to make send it back to a three possession game. Knocks down that one. Under a minute to go now. Rutgers bringing the double. Clemson able to escape. Clemson doing a lot of dribbling here. You got to get a quick basket. I'm taking almost 20 seconds here on this possession. I mean, you got the basket, but you took a lot of time to get it. And I mean, now you got a foul if you can't come up with it. It's a five point deficit. Okay, there you go. Weird time management here by Clemson. And now they just got to play the fouling game. Three, 32 seconds left in this one. They just got to hope Rutgers ends up missing a couple free throws. Preferably the front ends. Oh, close to, and that's a turnover on Rutgers. Give that guy a um, map. Where was he going? Clemson here. Oh, Newman should have shot that three. He's wide open. Shoot it, Newman. Oh, in and out. That would have been huge if he had made that three for Clemson. It could have brought it to within two points. But instead, Jacob Young here at the free throw line, looking to make this a three possession game yet again. Knocks down the first one. I mean, Newman should have shot that three. He was wide open. Knocks down that one. Clemson takes a timeout. All right, let's see what Clemson drew up here. They got to get a quick shot. Just kind of jogging across the half court line here. Taking a lot of time. You got to shoot the three. There you go. Splash! 
I mean, if Geo Baker can miss the front end here, this would be huge for Clemson. Knocks down the first one, though, to make it 28-23 with 12 seconds to go. Knocks down the second one as well to make it 29-23. Clemson takes another timeout. All right, coming out of the timeout, let's see if Clemson can hit another quick three-pointer here. Taking a lot of time to do it, though. You got to shoot it. You got to shoot it. You got to hurry. Shoot it. And it falls short, and they're just going to intentionally foul here with 0.1 seconds left. This one's over. I mean, Clemson fought back valiantly there. I mean, they were down by 12, brought it back to within three at one point, I think. And Harper makes it the three-possession game there, these clutch free throws. Knocks down that one as well to make it 31 to 23. So this one at least follows what happens in real life. <laughs> Nothing but net on the long range shot. So number 10 seed Rutgers does complete the upset here of number seven seed Clemson. They are gonna be moving on to face two seed Houston for a spot in the sweet 16 in the next round. So Clemson, man. They found themselves down by 12. They did a great job of coming back, just a little bit too little, too late. Jacob Young with eight points and three rebounds. So there we have it. 10 seed Rutgers advancing to the second round where they will face Houston. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.